Hi, my name is Martine Sims, and we're here at MoMA on the third floor outside of my exhibition, Project 106, that's me. Uh, normally the curators give these tours, but since I'm alive, I thought I should tell you about my show. So the exhibition is focused around my first feature film, Incense, Sweaters, and Ice, and it's physically kind of the center of the show and grounds the space and um, your action in it as you kind of watch it is focused here. One of the key kind of themes is, is the Great Migration, which was blacks moving from the rural south to the urban north. I have the film itself moving between these three uh, screens in the space. So you have to migrate between around this kind of circle to um, think about this it. This film was actually uh, adapted from a performance that I've been doing called Misdirected Kiss, which looked at some of these, um, this transitional period in cinema and beyond and kind of uh, performances of femininity, especially black femininity. And as part of that sort of performance, I create this like real-time collage behind me using multiple screens and videos and audio and text that continue to layer and kind of play and loop. And so I wanted to bring that experience into the gallery. And the way I decided to do that was through an augmented reality app. You can go to MoMA or mo.ma slash Sims, my last name, S-Y-M-S. And if you download this app, it's called, it's called WYDRN, which is maybe something someone's texted you before, late night perhaps, which means, what are you doing right now? Basically, you need to have your audio on and turned up. Some of them have audio, but if you hold it over some of the images, it will populate with additional kind of media. That's another part of the film. So in this one, it's a sequence of gifts that are a key part of uh, some of the ideas that we talk about, that I talk about in the film and that the character kind of goes through. There's a suite of kind of 12 photographs that are hung on the gallery walls, and each of those are stills or images that were taken in production. Some are directly you know, you'll see a scene in the film that is replicated sort of in one of the photographs in a way. And then other ones are more that were just taken over the course as I was shooting in each of these locations. And I chose to print them on um, found movie posters that were sort of directed towards black audiences because that was something I was thinking about is what are these key signifiers around blackness and black audiences and what would be marketed towards them. So each of them is printed on top of that, producing this, again, kind of a collage or a double exposure um, kind of image. This is a group chat. There's a really intense karaoke scene. Uh, and this is like everyone planning the karaoke scene. The main character, Girl, is loosely based on my mom as a kind of character. And I interviewed her to use as uh, research. Her voice is also heard in this, but also to use to direct the performer. And at the end of her interview, that's what she said, boring life, isn't it? And so this one has a selection of photos from my family archive. The main character's name is Girl, uh, but not maybe the way you might think it's Girl, or maybe the way you would think. It's Girl the way you would say to a friend, like, Girl, oh my God, you would not believe what he said to me. Or you'd say, like, Girl, I can't even today. It's that kind of girl. And the way that that is spoken and talked about is sort of reiterated in this wall painting um, that has girl spelled in different uh, iterations that are supposed to be like different ways you would say it, you know? So it's three R's, three L's, I don't know. Girl, girl, things like that, you know? Uh, if you say the word, the word, I say it a lot. This is a frequent expression of mine. I mean, the easiest way to explain why I use the color purple in a lot of my work is to make people say the phrase, the color purple. There's a lot of associations with that phrase, some of which you may be familiar with, like Alice Walker's work. Um, and around that are a kind of feminist, specifically black feminist tradition that I'm trying to uh, be a part of with my own work. And so it's really this Kind of like I talked about with the painting, this relationship between uh, spoken word and text and how I can produce a certain effect. I'm really interested in scoring. One of the things with my film and 
with the way that I make work um, sort of improvisationally is my scripts as well as the way that this program operates the videos. It creates a situation where I have these rules that hopefully people will do while they're in this space. So one of those is you walk in here and you think the color purple. I know people are going to come in here. I see them around the rest of the museum uh, using their phones and hopefully using the app. And so I wanted to take these activities and these actions that we're already doing and that are already part of culture and use them to create this other narrative and play with some of the feelings that we have, um, just you know, like the anxiety of you send a text message and you see those dots, are you going to get a response? Kind of use those uh, cues that we're already really familiar with to create work with.